Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Louisa Liu. Thank you for joining us. In Myanmar, Tsuji continues with the distribution of fertilizer, helping local farmers revive their suffering crops. Whenever possible, at the end of every aid distribution, volunteers will visit local farmers to check on the rice seedlings. The Tsuji aid workers follow 25-year-old Colin Tun to his farmland, where, after cyclone nudges, the soil is now too salty to cultivate. With the remaining rice seeds all dampened, a few dozen acres of rice paddies have turned into a stretch of wasteland, forcing the farmer to seek other means to make money. He says that his paddies are ruined and that he has no seeds, but now he's really excited about the grand seeds he received. The timid smile on this man's face reveals for volunteers an indescribable happiness. Up till now, Tsuji has dispatched five consecutive disaster relief teams to Myanmar and has firmly established a close relationship with local people. More and more local residents have joined in with the relief effort. For 10 years now, Taiwanese businessman Ling Yanfu has been working in Myanmar and has only been exposed to Yangon City and its more prosperous facets. Now, by traveling deep into remote areas, he is able to experience a completely different face of the country. Master Chen Yan says we must seize every moment to do good deeds and serve our parents. I keep that in mind when I volunteer. This consummate businessman is finding the city's work extremely moving. Inspired, he has set aside his job to devote himself to the humanitarian enterprise. With a firm resolve to give back to Myanmar, he has set to enlist others to do the same. I will involve my employees and enlarge this force of goodness. The more people we have, the easier it is to accomplish things, especially through charity work. <laughs> Organizing the logistics of distribution events or helping with interpretation, Taiwanese natives in Myanmar are a helpful addition to the city's aid efforts. All agree that this empathic experience has opened their eyes and hearts, bringing them closer to the Myanmar people.